they were disciples when they were learning, apostles when they were sent. Shalom! Hi everyone, my name is Frank and today we will be talking about old school guys that you have heard of but not necessarily know of. But it's okay, I am here to help. So yalla! <laughs> now, our Lord Yeshua had 12 disciples and he spent most of his time with four, in particular, John, Peter, Andrew and James. Jesus spent most of his time from those four with Peter because Peter just wouldn't leave Jesus alone. He had questions upon questions. He was a man of action, impulsive and eager. Remember the incident in Gethsemane when Kepha cut off the ear of that soldier that wanted to take Jesus away? <laughs> action, bruh. Action. Well, today, let's look into Kepha, into Kepha's life, Kepha's story. So Kepha always initiated stuff. He asked all the questions, but he also answered questions that Yeshua asked him. He got involved in things, even the ones he wasn't supposed to. Kefir was always in the middle of the action. In the Gospels, no one quite frankly, frankly Bruh. speaks as much as Kefir, and no one is spoken to by Yeshua as much as Kefir. You can say that he had a blabber mouth, and because of this blabbering mouth of his, he was the one who got chopped off the most by Yeshua. I mean, seriously, let's look at this. Remember that incident of get behind me, Satan? Yeah, <laughs> it was for Kefir. I mean, look, Kefir confessed the lordship of the Mashiach boldly, and he also denied it, denied him boldly. There is no chill with this guy, man. He is also the only disciple to have walked on water. That is cool. That is pure boldness, man. I mean, that is Kefir in a nutshell. A strong leader whose actions spoke of him. Never one to shy away from action. He wanted things to happen now. What do you think? Are you an apostle, Peter? Are you a shoot first and ask questions later kind of person? Tell us on the comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Look, if you want to watch more serious stuff, we have that too on our channel. See you next time. Le Hitraot. Shalom or oh, bye in English. See you later. We'll see you next time. <laughs> uh.